I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to connect our Texan Center unit with Gilbarco New Gilbarco Vita Root unit. Uh, here's the unit, and we're going to go ahead and go down and find the old display cable. There's a black and, and grayish looking cable. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. And the cable that we provide with it is this is a cable. You hook up this to the pole display. And the female side is going to go to the black side, and then you hook up the pole display on the other side of it. And I'm going to follow this cable through. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and hook up the no modem adapter right here, and then hook it up to the adapter that we provide with the Texan Center unit. And what I suggest is you run one Cat5 cable, which will go right here, and then run this to the back where the DVR is, and that's where I suggest that you go ahead and keep your uh, uh, your Texan Center unit. Uh, this way you can connect the camera and the DVR right there. So this is the connection right here. This is the adapter that we hooked up. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's hooked up in the back. All right, so here's the cable that actually, uh, Cat5 cable coming from the front. Um, I have the uh, Texan Center box already hooked up. Power is over here, it's turned on. And you hook up the uh, uh, cable actually in the back. So right over here. And uh, you take the camera that you want to plug it in, that you want to show on top of it. You plug it into video in port. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. So now the camera is plugged in. And you run a short jumper cable. Um, you can make it yourself or get a pre-made one uh, and run it from the order, whichever port that you want it to hook up to. And on the text center, you hook it up to the video out port. So this is uh, the full install uh, on how to hook up the uh, text center and the camera is showing up. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll show up, show you guys some of the transactions as they come up. Uh, please uh, keep in mind that uh, this is the live install and uh, we just uh, quickly did this video just to show you guys how to do this. Uh, please uh, clean up, uh, use a best practice, uh, tidy it up, and don't leave it mess like the what we have right now, which we're gonna go back and clean. So you see the transactions are coming up on the screen, and uh, you can hook up the uh, laptop and you know change the uh, positions of it, make it dark, light, so these are all the transactions that are coming up on the, st on the screen. Thank you for watching. Alright, in this video I'll show you how to turn off the uh, scrolling on pole display. I strongly recommend that you do that. Uh, this right here, uh, welcome to the uh, Food Mart or uh, whichever uh, message that they have on it. Um, so that's way it's not showing that on the screen all the time on the DVR and running up your uh, hard drive storage. Uh, if you walk up to the terminal, you'll see a screen something like this. Is they're actually in the POS mode. You can ask clerk or the owner of the store to get you logged into a manager's workstation. But if you have to do it, you can do this by clicking on more, more until you see the tools button. Click on tools and you see the button that says uh, manager workstation. Click on this. It's going to ask you for your login ID. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. and you click on sign on uh, and once you're signed on you should get to this screen uh, you click on setup click on register and then click on register group maintenance and in here you'll see all the uh, point of sale workstations you have at that location this particular location only has one so you're only seeing one uh, so you go ahead and click on change and then click on customer display and then uncheck where it says message on the customer display should scroll during idle time. Go ahead and click that. And I would also uh, remove that as well. And then go ahead and click on update display. And then click save. And that should take care of it. You can go ahead and exit out of that, sign them off, and then they can click on POS and they should be back to uh, where you started.